See Matthew chapter 10, verse 34, and it reads, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. First and foremost, only of all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, next double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere. I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. The gospel people here for a bear. It is what it is. What it is. It, this is the gospel right here. This is the gospel. So this turmoil that's going on, this chaos that's going on, the violence that's going on, the wars that's going on, the love of many, wax and cold going on, hyperinflation going on, all this napping going on, a draft is coming, storms, floods, earthquakes, spirits created for vengeance. You wonder why all these things are happening? Because it's being orchestrated by the Lord. You can't march for peace. That, that, that's, that's not going to work. Especially when a power is already controlling it. You can't vote for peace, Israel. You got to seek the Lord. Because the Lord said, what again? St. Matthew, this is something quick too about the head out, Lord willing, and get this daily bread. And Abba Ratazah, Lord's willing, Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh shall protect us, hopeful Lex, throughout the day. St. Matthew 10. We ain't seen nothing yet. St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. Think not, that's why this is the time to be seeking the Lord. You, you don't wait. That Sirach chapter 5, verse 7 comes out every day. Sirach chapter 5, verse 7. And you can go and read it. Comes out every day. Look, look at this. I'm looking at the new now. Grocery, grocery prices. <laughs> hey, hey, you barely even want, even though you you got to eat, you barely even want to go to the grocery store because you know the pri prices are outrageous. And all the food got damn plastic in it. It just came out, um, this DR, and you know what I mean by DR, this came out with a report um, as far as in every Israelite, well, every every um, man on the earth has plastic in his testicles. What kind of shit is that? This, the earth really is being ran by the wicked. And, and the Lord set him up, and the Lord set this devil up. St. Matthew 10. 34, think not that I'm come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword, which represents destruction. If you keep reading on, it goes into how the daddy is going to be against his son. The mother is going to be against her daughter. And vice versa with the, with the dad and the son. Vice versa with the daughter and the mama. Uh, or the, the son-in-law is going to be against the father-in-law. The daughter-in-law is going to be against the daughter's. And a man's foe shall be there of his own household. Think not that I'm coming to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword, which represents destruction. This is it. This is it, Israel. Nothing but chaos. Nothing but destruction. And I don't want to bring this out because I mentioned you, you can't uh, march for peace. You, you can't vote for peace. You're actually voting for someone thinking that they're going to bring peace on the earth. You must don't know. You, you must don't know the scriptures and you must don't believe in the scriptures. You don't know the scriptures and you don't believe in the scriptures if, you, if you're doing that nonsense. Let's get this. I, so quick too, man, about to head out. Back, back to the basics pretty much. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace. I make peace and create evil. Meaning the bad times. The peaceful times and the bad times are being orchestrated by the God of the Bible. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus. I, the Lord, see, see, and he put a stamp on it. I, the Lord, Yahweh, do all these things. And the majority of our people can't even fathom that the Lord is controlling everything. Who? What, what, a storm just came through. This happened, that happened. Why is this going on? Matter of fact, 
Matter of fact, before I even get that, let's just get this. You gotta be, gotta be mindful of who's controlling all these things. Amos chapter three. Amos chapter three. We we'll start at verse six. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? That trumpet represents us teaching this word, bringing it out. Shall there be evil, meaning bad times in the city, and the Lord have not done it? So from the storms, car crashes, motorcycle crashes, the hacking, someone being hacked inside their crib. You see, that had that house fire, that gas explosion. You name it, a drowning in the backyard, in the pool, all that. Be, being a uh, little grocery price check, local grocery store, that shit, spend like two, three hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying, and coming out with like about ten items, and that's it. At the damn grocery store, look at this shit. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. And the damn food, fake as shit. But but this is the place that you love, right? This is the place that you love, though, right? Should there be evil, meaning bad times in the city, and the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, have not done it? Should the Lord power will do nothing. So if an earthquake happens, the Lord did it. A storm happens, the Lord did it. Chaos, violence, mayhem. A family members get, get put to rest. The Lord did it. You get put to rest. I get put to rest. The Lord did it. You get hurt. The Lord did it. You see? Now he's behind everything. Should the Lord power do nothing, but he revealed his secret into his servants of prophets. And we're revealing the secrets. We're revealing the secrets. Let's just get this. You know we got to go to Deuteronomy. This is not right. This is not right. Don't tell the Lord what ain't right and what ain't wrong. And like um, like it says in um, Isaiah 55 and 11. Well, not 55. I'm, I'm going to have to get it. Matter of fact, let's get it right quick. Let's just get it. I'm going to come right back to that, Lord willing. I want to I wanna get this. Isaiah chapter 55. The Lord said, give them one. The first scripture I brought out, think not that I'm coming to say peace on earth. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8, and it reads, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. So we can't think for the Lord. We can't tell the Lord what to do and what not to do. The Lord said, For my thoughts are not your thoughts. When the Lord do something, you try to figure out why he did it. Ain't no need. Ain't no need. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are, uh, the Lord does some a certain way. You try to, you know, I would have did it this way. Shut up. Shut up. Neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as, for as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. So the Lord is on a, a, on a level we'll never be able to think, to fathom. You see? Trying to figure out why he doing this and why he doing that. Just get. I want, I want to go back. I want to go back to Deuteronomy. Just get, just get this. You got martial law getting to pop off. Jacob trouble getting to pop off. Who's in control of that? The Lord. Remember, he said he creates the peace and the evil. World War Three martial law and, and this devil getting to make it mandatory that the that the men and the women. Enter into that draft. You get a you get a letter one day. Everybody's been shucking and jiving. You're gonna get a letter soon come in the mail. Everybody's just been procrastinating. You're gonna get a letter in the mail soon come. Little um appoint to this building, report to this building, report to that building at such and such time. And, and you you gonna send a message on somebody's comment board? Can you pray for me? I just got a letter. It said I gotta go to the draft. And I'm saying and I'm about to go to war. But you won't think about the Lord. Remember, you was too, too busy having fun. Popping bottles. And all this other nonsense. We should have been seeking the Lord. Isaiah 55 and 6. We must seek the Lord. You want to be protected? Better seek the Lord. Deuteronomy. Better, you better seek Yahweh. Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Not God and Christ blessed. And the majority of these Israelites is in these other Israelite groups. They're going to get a letter from the government saying you, you got to report to this building. You got to enter into the draft, and it's going to be gnashing and welling of teeth, as the scripture have said. 
Then, then you're going to call on Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Then all of a sudden you're going to know the name in the Hebrew. Then, then, and only then. When you got a report to the damn office, and I'm saying the damn military office, and I'm saying they, they go to the damn war, enter into that damn draft, then you go, yeah, but she may have shot. No, no, keep that energy. Keep that energy. Keep keep God and Christ blessed in your head. Remember? Deuteronomy 32, 39, and it reads, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. So you can't call on Allah. You can't call on Buddha. It's shit. And you just start, I, don't, I don't know if y'all seen that shit, um, but it was about, about a thousand people, you know what I'm saying, got caught up in, some, um, in, a, in a storm or something. What was? Let me go back to my um, community thing right quick. Bear, bear with me. Let me go here. Bear, bear, bear with me. I'm, I'm multitasking right quick. I'm looking through this thing. Nearly 1,000 confirmed fatalities from Hajjad heat wave as hundreds more fear deleted. You see, the official deletion toll from this year's Hajjad, if I'm saying that name right, pilgrimage, has soared to almost a thousand, and the true toll could be more than double. That, that, that means two thousand. That as reports emerge, that as many as one thousand Egyptian worshippers are oh, see. You Kemet gods, remember, you Kemet guys, remember, Hotep, Seth, remember, you Egyptologists, you know what I'm saying, um, serving soup and spaghetti, uh, what is, um, Sarnetta, Polite, uh, Shaka Homos. Remember, remember y'all, y'all love Egypt, right? Y'all love Egypt, right? You see, why couldn't Amara? Ra? Why couldn't what is a horse? The Eye of Horus. Why couldn't the horse save these people, man? A damn heat wave. You no, know, say deleted a thousand people, and it, and his number said it, it, it could be double. It could be double that, man. Damn, damn. damn. Uh, as many as a thousand Egyptian worshippers perished, perished in the day of vengeance. Did you, did you not hear this? Perish, perish. Egyptian worships, worshippers perish as the routine, as, as the routine to Mecca amid extreme heat. Neither is there any. No, listen. Deuteronomy 32, 39. It's how, it's how deadly serious this message is. Nearly 1,000 confirmed fatalities from hijacked heat wave as hundreds more fear deleted. Trying to go over there and worship some damn idol, man. You see? And this is 13 hours ago. This report came in 13 hours ago, man. Deuteronomy 32, 39. And this is just the beginning of evils. See now that I even I am he, and there is no God with me. You, you, you unconscious ninjas, you're going to get enough, man. You're gonna get enough. You worship in Allah, you worship in Buddha, you worship in Santa Maria, you worship in Jesus, and all this other nonsense. You Israelites out there that's not worshiping Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, you got a rude awakening. You got a, you're worshiping your money, your cars, your clothes, your H to the damn Izzos. You got a rude awakening coming, man. See now that I, even I am he and there is no God with me. I kill and I'll make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Are, are, we, are we not hearing this? Are we not reading this together? <laughs> I, just, I just read that article. I just read that article. What, what did I want to get? Let's get some, cause I gotta get rid. I gotta get rid of roll out Israel. Let's get songs right quick. Just something quick, man. The Lord said, "Think not that I come to send peace on earth." What is this? Ninety six. Psalm chapter ninety six, verse um four. Psalm chapter ninety six, verse four, and it reads, "For the Lord Yahweh, through His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai, is great and greatly to be praised. He, He, not she, He is to be feared above all gods." For all the gods of the nations are idols. Are we not reading this? But the Lord got, got these ninjas, you know what I'm saying, putting um, Egyptian tattoos all on them. The Eye of Horus, you know what I'm saying, my phone chimed in. Got to put the Eye of Horus, you know what I'm saying, tattoos on their, on their backs, on their chest, and all this. And, you know, everybody vaping, you know what I'm saying? This, 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 system, this whole system is bugged the hell out, man. You see? Gave, gave sleep. The Lord gave Sleazy a crappy deal, man. We just say for all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens, man. Once again, nearly nearly one thousand confirmed fatalities from Hajjad. 
Uh, if I'm saying that name right, heat wave as hundreds more fear deleted. The official deletion toll from this year's hijab pilgrimage has soared to almost 1,000 and, and the true toll could be more than double, meaning 2,000. That as reports emerged, at, that as many as 1,000 Egyptian worshipers, you worship, you worship in Egyptology, you ninjas gonna learn. You see? You damn Egyptologists got the damn women and the damn men. You see? So all that debate shit don't mean nothing. Yeah, Israelites still debating you know what I'm saying, with the with the unconscious community. They ain't, they ain't woke yet, man. You, if you still worship in Egypt and you still believing in them Egyptian gods, guess what? You're not conscious yet. You're still unconscious. You you're pretty much still dead. What is what it say? Um, in reports emerge that as many as one thousand Egyptian worshippers perish, perish, man. On the routine to Mecca amid extreme heat. It's hot as hell. You still trying to go to damn Mecca. You know what I'm saying? Let's bring this last one out. Let's bring this last one out. So rock five. Let's get this right quick. I'm, I'm going after this. I got the roll. So rock chapter five. Let's just get this. Go and learn. A power tells you he's not bringing peace. You know what I'm saying? He's only bringing evil, but you ain't even seeking him. You is... You just like to bug the hell out, man. So rock, but we get it. So rock chapter five, verse seven. That's why that's why we're constantly praying and hoping that the Lord keeps the spirit on us to continue to seek them, right? So rock chapter five, verse seven, and it reads, make no tearing to turn to the Lord. Don't wait, Israel. It's really going down. And put not off from day to day. Oh, I do it tomorrow. I do it the day after that. I do it. I got enough time. No, you don't. No, you don't. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. You, you, you really don't see what's going on. And all you Israelites that played around, that procrastinated, you Israelite men and women that, that didn't want to seek the Lord, you want to seek the Lord in your own time because you were still young, dumb, and full of cum, right? You was living your best life. Those men on the corners was crazy. They, they were stinking, right? Remember Anton Davis? Hell, you, you might get a letter, you know what I'm saying, from the government saying you got to report to the damn um damn um military station, you know what I'm saying, or facility, you know what I'm saying, because you've been entered into the draft. You you ninjas, that, that every idle word that men and women shall speak, you're going to have to give account thereof in the day of judgment, you see? On your ass on that damn battlefield and shit just blowing up the hell all around you, you see? Guts, you know what I'm saying? Heads, legs, and things of that nature just flying past your ass. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? You know. You know why. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security, when it's all lovey dovey, you're sitting in your Porsche. You're sitting in your big old house. You see? Sitting in your school. You're doing a debate with the Egyptologists, talking about nothing, talking about nothing. In thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Hence, henceforth, the title of the article that I'm looking at. Egyptian workers, work, worshippers perish on a routine to Mecca amid extreme heat. Think not that I'm coming to send peace on earth. Shalom.